is and okay. Hello everybody. Welcome to the uh, YouTube live stream here on Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. It's going to be a very um, interesting evening because um, you know tonight approximately uh, nine, uh, you know around 9:30ish somewhere in there, 9:20ish between 9 and 9:30, something like that. Um, we're going to have Clive and Bundy actually on, on here. It's going to be a re real treat for everybody. But um, there's there's some uh, ground rules for this conversation that um, our uh, host for the call today, Barbie, um, needs to lay out. So I'm going to shut up and let her lay those out. Go ahead. Good evening, everybody. It is 7.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are going to have a guest speaker tonight, and we're asking everybody to please keep your language clean. And please also try and keep your questions to a three to five minute limit. Closer to the three side because everybody waiting in the queue wants to have something to say. I would like to keep this call as open and unmoderated as possible. So if everybody is as uh, nice and respectful as they normally are, it'll work out wonderfully. If you're out there listening to us and you want to call in, the number to call in is 559-726-1300. The access code is 276-125 followed by the pound sign. Go ahead. All right. Good. All right. Well, it's uh, officially 8 o'clock. This call is now moderated. If anybody wants to chime in now before we get the bunnies on the phone, you're welcome to do so. Uh, you can actually now press uh, star 6. Q&A session started. And you can get in line now. There's only 15 callers now. I just talked to the head of security at the uh, Bundy Ranch. Um, he did confirm that he will be standing next to five in about an hour and a half, and he will get him on the call. Um, worst case scenario, you know, something pops off, but we'll actually be there next to the guys, um, you know, next to the rancher. So at the very least, he can ask questions through him, but he did confirm he can do it. He's got to be there at five and on this call in one hour and one half. So I'm looking forward to that. Right in, give you good time. Um, a lot of people have lots of questions, I'm sure. We've already got some lined up for them. I don't know how long we will have with him, but uh, we're going to make sure to do our best. Um, if anybody wants to be in the queue so right now, you can press star six, and we can just engage in some average conversation as we have been doing. Um, anybody else who's hearing the rebroadcast on this, the dial in number is 559 726. 1300, and you want to use the uh, participant code 276125 and then pound, and that will jump into this call. If you're on Facebook right now, if you'd like to ask if your request has been received, by all means, feel free to go ahead and share that message that you saw. Invite some people that care what's going on and uh, get other people on board. And I have to unmuted, unmuted, sir. Sorry about that. No, don't be sorry. Yeah, I'll do my best. I, I know since you've got administrator access, you, you're going to be able to do that. Um, but 773, uh, Mr. Kelso himself, i got to keep engaged in here somehow. Um, I'll keep an eye on him. Hey, if you could, uh, Chicago 1, you could give me a 10 count right now. I want to try something. Uh, give you a 10 count? Yes, sir. Okay. One. This Two. line is now on hold. Your request has been removed from the queue. This line is now off hold. Okay, that was weird. What did it say to you? This line is now on hold. Your request has been removed from the queue. This line is now off hold. Okay, so don't press that button anymore. Yeah. I'm trying to hold you, I'm trying to hold you in the conversation. That was the first time I've actually used that button, um, so that's not going to work. But I'll, I'll do what I can to keep you in here. But I. The only thing you could, him. the only thing you could do is you said there was a a different access number uh, as far as a pin that if you call in it hooks you into the conference call, but it leaves you unmuted. The only thing you could do is have me call back in via whatever that was. So you'd have hey, to, you'd Brian. have to, you'd have to give me that pin yeah. through Facebook. That's exactly yeah, that's right. Funny. That code, you don't have to keep the people in the queue or with mine. Anyway. I don't know what, if she's talking about the same one. Um, 
I'm calling it off my phone right now. You don't the that you don't have to leave them in the queue because they can automatically um, they can automatically speak if it's in Q and A. But I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all tied in with all the admin and all that stuff. Yeah, I I just remember I remember Brian saying that it was a it was a code to dial into the call, but it's not the code most people use. It's a different code. It takes you into the call, but it doesn't mute you. So whatever that is, yeah. if Brian could shove that to me through Facebook. Then um, I could just disconnect the call right quick and recall back in using that code, and then you don't have to keep an eye on me, so to speak, and I could just mute myself. Okay, well, keep you muted for now. We'll see how that works out. Um, you and I have a meeting tomorrow, so we'll go over all that for sure. Sweet. Um, but I'll keep you unmuted right now, and uh, you should be able to actually hang up, and it should leave you unmuted when you come in. Um, so hopefully that works. I, I'm not sure when you were coming in through Skype or whatever the case was yeah, the other day, and uh, Bob, Bob Rio will actually be able to see how that's been working. Yeah, I'm still coming in through Skype. Now the icons start pop, <laughs> popping in in the Q and A, um, so understand how, how crappy it can get. But let's That's see, fine. man. Hopefully, uh, a lot of people chime in. Hopefully, we uh, you know we beat the last record of callers in on the call at the same time. Um, you guys, I'm seeing a lot of uh, action on some of the posts we've made uh, earlier. So hopefully, uh, you know more people than ever chime in today. Hey, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Yeah, I would like to actually put a call out real quick. I'm trying to catch uh, Mr. James Neighbors. If Mr. James Neighbors uh, is actually here on this call, I am trying to contact you, sir. If you could press uh, star six, I could bring you into the call, but I definitely had a couple quick questions for you uh, before we got started, um, you know, moving forward with the five and rank situation. But, uh, yeah, if you're on the call, sir, I definitely would like to hear from you. Um, and my friends on... Uh, won't you be won't you be please won't you be my neighbor uh, if I can say this real quick anyone who is uh, is a patriot and uh, are good with computers uh, get a hold of me and I could use a uh, few other people's help uh, I was going to say, anyone who's a patriot and is uh, pretty good with computers and that sort of thing, uh, I appreciate if you get the contact with me, and then we can discuss further from there. Um, Brian knows what we're talking about. Uh, a few other people in here listening probably do as well, but um, it is pretty important to pertain to the situation. Um, uh, yeah, get a hold of me if you are willing to uh, help out in any situation. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is directly over the phone. I uh, did a simple theory of it, but uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. And for your buddy. So, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of pages that are going to be calling and trying that in later if you want to make some top of the time going. You can definitely use uh, some backup. Um, good guys, good head on your shoulders, really been helping out with this call, especially with this call that I know. Um, and I'm glad that uh, comes when you, you work it out and your phone sounds loud and crystal clear, man. You're coming in here. Hey, Brian. Hey, what? My dad's looking forward to meeting you tomorrow as well. Okay, are you? My dad's looking forward to meeting you tomorrow as well. Oh, cool! Yeah, all right. Yeah, you'll, oh, yeah. You'll, you'll you'll get to meet him when we head back, and I show you my little you know pond setup and gardening and all that you know good stuff, and I show you uh, all the stuff I'm dealing with here. Uh, my dad should be around. I asked him about it. He said, uh, you know, he'll be here and there, so um, he he should be around, and he's a Vietnam vet, so you should find him uh, interesting to talk to. And just to reiterate, Mr. Neighbors, if you are out there listening, please look at your keypad and press star six, and you'll hear the operator ask you if you'd like to ask a question. Then press the one button, and that will put you in the queue so that Brian can talk to you. Uh, 
Uh, thanks for clarifying that. Clarifying that. Yeah, I'm not usually on the other side of calling in, um, but it would be great. I'm sorry to hear from I don't see his name on here, but uh, it's nothing like to hear from him. Hey, how long is AMB going to be doing the uh, the stream on this? Because I'm I'm probably um, only going to be around till something something like midnight or so. Because um, I I need to get some sleep for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what you just said, but now. Oh, that's weird. Can you hear Can me you now? Hear me. Yeah, I'm clear. I tell if that's just me. I seem to have a whole signal down here, but uh, a couple of us are cutting out right now. I don't know why. Um, yeah, you're cutting out. Uh, wait, I think this is the wireless caller 17, or 1775. You just signed it. Can anyone hear me? I can answer the question about where James Neighbors is. He should be on shortly. Oh, uh, that sounds like what? Has anybody heard me? That's not good. I can hear I you. I can hear her. Yeah. Uh, I can hear. I can hear. 1775. I don't know if you, if you have a bad signal right now, but you, it sounds like we're in line at uh, Apple Bell right now, and there's a broken machine trying to ask me what I want for dinner. <laughs> I can hear. Her <laughs> okay, you can hear. One, one person can hear me. I yeah, can hear you. I can hear you fine. I can hear. Okay, James. James, are you there? You have to push star six to ask a question. Dave in Chicago can hear you, that being me. Yeah, he yeah, should be here along shortly. Okay. Brian, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you, but I don't know if that was... Uh, you sound a lot better, though. Okay, I was just trying to say that I, I can o I can only stream till about midnight or so because i got to get some sleep for tomorrow. Okay. No problem. No problem at all. Hey, are you driving or taking a train? I will be driving. All right. Hey, Brian. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'd also like to announce to all the callers, when you're done asking your questions, if you could please, if you could please hit star six to remute yourself, that would make it so much easier for us so that we don't have to go through and remute everybody. <laughs> Hey, I'm Barb. I, uh, I don't know if that's me. Is everybody else here in here broken down really bad? I can uh, hear you fine. You're breaking up real bad on my end, Brian. I, I can actually hear you that's fine, that's Brian. What's going on up here. Yeah, I can hear you perfectly fine, Brian. You, you break up intermittently a little tiny bit, but it's not terrible on my end. Dude, is that me? Because right now everybody's Dude. coming in scrambled. It must be me. Am I coming in like crap? No, I can hear you're you. You're coming in scrambled. For me, dude, you're coming in scrambled, and I got a perfect connection. Yeah, but but for time. but for me, you're coming in clear. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, we do have a boot on the ground on the call at the moment. Hmm. There's just Does probably there's just probably some fun and games going on with the connection. If people understand my meaning by fun and games. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, for all we know, it could be the damn NSA, because I know, uh, I suspect they, they'd be messing with me. Well, they, they do that on blog talk and other internet radio stuff a lot. Like, um, I don't think it's like a, a particular person doing it. I think they got some sort of algorithm monitoring these streams, and when certain topics of yeah. conversation come up and keywords are initi initiated, they buzz a little distortion on the line. I see that happen yep. regularly. Would you, would you that's, guys, ex that's exactly what I was getting ready to say, man. Would you guys mind if we talk to this booth real quick? Sure. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Hey, pretty good. Good, this is Chris Cran. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, not too much. I'm just chiming in on the call, seeing how everybody's doing, see what's going down. Cool, cool. Appreciate it. We're just chilling yeah. until Cliven gets here. Okay, yeah. yep. So that's, uh, yeah, I'm in for that as well. So, yeah, sure. Uh, Hour and fifteen minutes. An hour and fifteen minutes will be on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just talked to uh, his security. Uh, was right there, right next to him, and uh, 
he said, yeah, he's kind of busy at the moment, but uh, he'll do what he's got to do to get him up at about 9.30 Central, so that was 50 minutes old, so yeah, about an hour, 15 minutes. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, Chris. Yes. Hey, this is Barbie. I just wanted to take a second real quick and tell you once again how thankful we are for everything that you've done. Oh, hey, man. <coughs> don't mention it. Don't worry, you know, that's his duty. This is, you know, this got a call that compelled me, and there I went, you know. Here we are. Uh, and I just want to, I want to mention something to people real quick. As far as the mainstream news malarkey about um, Bundy's so-called racist comments that didn't actually happen, um, uh -huh. people hit up the Community Conference Calls Archives page on Facebook and scroll down a little. There's a post there that says, Bundy hoax exposed, real audio shows MSM caught twisting the truth. For anyone who's curious, they, they can check that out and play that through, and you can hear the original uncut version that shows that Bundy, you know, was taken out of context, and the original version did not say anything racist at all. As a matter of fact, he was commending the black people. He was commending Mexicans. He, he was talking very highly of people. Yes. He was not speaking down against anybody. So anybody who wants to hear the original audio on that can go to the Community Conference Calls Archives page on Facebook, scroll down a little, and that post is right there. Bundy Hoax Exposed, Real Audio Shows, MSM Caught Twisting the Truth. Play that through and you will see the real unedited deal. Yes, exactly. Just wanted to make that known. Yeah. I mean, you can ask anybody who knows anything about what's been going on in the last few years. They're going to use whatever they can to divide people, and it works um, without them even intervening. Um, people will like to divide, or humans like to divide themselves between each other without having someone intervening. Yeah. So if you have someone that does try and divide you from an external um, source, that's even more problematic. Yeah, well, that that video is a good way to defeat that right away because they can listen for, to that for themselves. Mm -hmm. I really don't think it's human nature to, to divide. I think it's human nature to come together. Otherwise, they wouldn't need an artificial meme being shot out through mainstream manipulation if it wasn't yeah. to detour us from our natural state. Okay, gentlemen, I need to interrupt again because sure. it is 18 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we're up to 24 calls on the line. I need to remind everybody, please treat everybody with the same respect you wish to be treated with. Um, we are trying to keep the questions for our special guests tonight to a minimum of three to five minutes. Please remember also to keep an eye on your language and let's keep it nice tonight. I know you guys can do it. I've had 40 of you at one time, and everybody was super respectful. So let's, let's get it on. Hey, I got a mouth like a trucker, and even I can keep it clean, so if I could do it, anybody can. Yeah, but you should be here at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I, ha I have been sometimes. It gets to be fun. Brian knows. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I, I mean, I have to have it, too. I just want to keep it as clean as possible. The bunnies are very churchy people. And I uh, just want to make sure they're looked out for and respected because uh, yeah. they're taking the time out to come talk to us. I actually just unmuted a good friend of ours who's also been boots on the ground. She actually lives around the area, 0707 Miss Diana. How are you? Hey, honey, how are you? Just real quick, 9080. I got to mute you, man. I'm getting so much feedback on your end. You can yeah, we go. Yourself. How are you doing, guys? Pretty good. I hear congratulations on an order, Daddy. Uh, say what? I hear uh, congratulations are in order. For what? Did I misread something that you have the baby? Um, actually, if you look at the date of that post, that was a ginormous April Fool's joke. Um, uh, I got you. <laughs> I got you even later, and it's already the 25th. But uh, okay. uh, I've been busy and preoccupied with other things. Yeah. Yeah, I put a post up uh, at the beginning of the month, uh, basically, that my wife was having twins, which she is not. Uh, that is purely an April Fool's joke, but uh, 230 <laughs> some odd of my friends uh, definitely thought I was having a kid for a minute there. So, many, many, I got y'all. Uh, well, 
my <laughs> my April my April Fool's my April Fool's blog joke was uh, making a quick blurb about a a flesh eating uh, virus pandemic, and then at the end I'm like, nah, April Fool's. <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's definitely good. Flesh eating virus. I'll have to think of that one next year. <laughs> So Brian, what's been going on? I've been busy working like 15 hour days, so I haven't been really been able to touch base with you. How's everything going? <laughs> Everything's uh, pretty good, you know, as far as like the calls have been going, it's uh, Bart's been really helping out keeping it smooth. Um, he just now got administrative access about 24 ish hours ago and uh, he's been running really well. Um, awesome. you know, today today I just got off the uh, the phone just a little bit ago. Uh, with the uh, head of security, Blaine Cooper, who went back to the ranch, we talked to him like the fourth day we were in on this, I believe, which is probably sorry, Sunday morning, wait, no, that was Monday morning of last week. Right. So we, we talked to him then, and uh, you know, he was letting us know that he was headed back. I spoke to his wife um, while he was headed back, and now he's there. And that's why I just talked to him. He, uh, he's definitely looking very closely, obviously, as a bodyguard. Um, He's been volunteering his time, but I did talk to him. He confirmed that we're going to get, um, you know, five in, in the house in about an hour, and uh, hopefully we get a, a chance to let enough people ask him a couple of questions. I don't know how much time we're going to have with him, but uh, we're going to do our best, and then when he's gone, we'll be able to talk to uh, Blaine, who's uh, head of security for a little while, and, uh, you know, give a better idea of, you know, how's it going around there, what they plan on doing in the near future. Cool. Uh, I don't want to too many important questions that will expose anything that uh, they'd rather not say as far as, you know, uh, security, communication, things like that. I don't really want to know exactly how many people are there. You know, if you can just tell us a lot, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's, he's sending out a lot of people and, uh, or at least, you know, guiding them there and such. And uh, also, Hey, Barbara, you're still on the line, right? Uh, give or take, how, how many statements do you think finally made it down there? Uh, via the crew that's been trying to set things up for them. We had about three or four segments by now, right? Um, yeah. There's been some private shipments that have gone. There's been Walmart pickups. There's been personal mail trips to the Bundy house. So we're doing good. We, we've organized a lot. Awesome. Cool. Oh, that's fantastic. That is wonderful. You guys are doing a great job. And I know uh, my boy David Lee, William, my little daily rock look alike. He loaded up a whole truckload of stuff and bought it down and he called for all the musicians in town to pull together and put the other sleeping bags, tents, deodorant, batteries, full horns, whatever they keep there. And he's willing to take my truck and bring it down while I'm working. Cool. Cool. Hey guys, uh, why can't I mute out? I don't know. Uh, we can hear you. I just Press star six like five times and it doesn't even say a word. I wish I had that problem. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. I'm one. Off of and Try that again. I'm not on speaker. It's on. I'm using headphones. Um, maybe that's why. Hitting your mute. Now? Yeah, we can. We can hear you now. Um, what the heck? It doesn't work if I mute my phone because the headphone speakers still work. Is there a button actually on the headphones itself? Are you using uh, a Bluetooth or are you using earbuds? I'm going to hang out for a quick and I'm going to call back. All right. <laughs> well, while he's doing that, I, I want to say I think that mainstream slander against Bundy, I think we should all kind of take it as a compliment and a good sign because it means the cabal are really scared of what's going on and it's waking up a lot of sheep and, and you know, that they see this as a bit of a threatening meme. Like Bundy said, um, you know, he's irrelevant to the situation. It's bigger than him. It's about a waking up of humanity to, you know, to what's really going on. So it just shows me that, that they're scared. Even despite all their power, they are scared. And they are acting like frightened animals. So I, I definitely take this a lame attempt as a compliment and a good sign that, you know, progress right. is being made. That's my, my opinion. Hey, that yeah. worked just fine. I can mute out now. Awesome. I totally agree that they're scared, and I'm sure they did this. They put that misinformation out there 
the cat and get it. They did it on purpose. Of course. Do they want to try and pit people against each other? Um, I work for the transit system on a temporary assignment auditing their bus system. And I was in a very bad neighborhood yesterday. Several uh, African American and Hispanic, so very low income. Mm -hmm. I had two gentlemen on the bus that were talking about the situation, which I got to read about at lunch. And they were talking about what a racist and bigot and all this other stuff. And I, I stepped in and I asked how they got the information. They watched it on the news channel and they read it out of the paper. I had them go to my Facebook. I had shared the link of the misinformation and had them read it. The Hispanic man was still very angry and said he would he, he pulls all support from Bundy. Now the black man turned around and he says, you know, he goes, I was going to pull my support. I never thought once that the government or the news media would do something like that. So people are slowly waking up. Yeah. But unfortunately, the younger generation is not going to wake up unless we put a serious boot in their bottom. Actually, ironically, I've kind of seen the opposite. Um, when I when when I talk to younger people about this stuff, they seem to be like totally way more open about it. Whereas if I talk to people who are asleep but more set in their ways, they're just like, no, 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 you don't know anything about the real world. Shut up. I don't want to hear you crap. But the younger people, they're like, oh, really? Show me the information. So the younger people seem to, that at least that I come in contact with, have more discernment, and they're they're open to the information. And a lot of the older people are like, no, no, I've been around the block for umpteen years. I know better than you. Shut up. I don't want to hear your BS. Go away, you kid. You know. Yeah, yeah, I hear that too from a lot of the older people. But uh, the demographics here in Vegas is very liberal, very hardcore liberal. Yeah. They believe in everything that the government is doing. They think they're doing the right thing, and there's no changing their mind. <clears throat> I had a 25-year-old come to me one day and say, well, you're turning 63. You need to have a psyche valve because if you're not stable enough at 53, they need to take your hand down. <clears throat> I looked at her and I said, best friend or not, honey, I'm going to take you and whoop your butt. <laughs> because seriously, your little third-degree black belt is not going to stop a bullet. Your third-degree black belt isn't going to do anything for you in a bad situation unless that person's close enough to you. So, you know, I mean, they're very liberal, very liberal here, and it's, it's really scary. Yeah. It's very scary at times. Man, if it were I mean, if it were me, I I I just told that person, you know what? What ha what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So so take yeah. your take your attitude back to Vegas and stop throwing it in my face. <laughs> well, you know, and it's funny too because a lot of the liberals here that are now supporting Clyde, in, um, especially the wealthy, few of the wealthy people I know that are very very anti-conservative, very pro-liberal. Um, the only thing that caught their attention was the animal abuse. <clears throat> wasn't the land takeover, wasn't the standoff, none of it. It was the animal abuse, the pictures and the videos that they saw that my friend Brandon posted and they happened to see on my yeah. Facebook. Well, the, main, yeah, the main thing that's been opening uh, opening people's eyes that I've seen is they have to directly experience in their personal lives a taste of the totalitarianism so they step back and go, whoa. And that's also why a lot of the younger people are waking up too because they are they are so mistreated in the school system, you know, especially with every child left behind, that they're standing there saying, what's wrong with this world? There's got to be something wrong with it. I want to know what's wrong with it. So they're already under the impression that something's wrong and they want to know what. So their minds are like, click, we open, open to information. Yeah, see, unfortunately, Vegas is different. This whole town is set on gambling booths and hookers. Well, when the totalitarian so, boot steps down on their neck, then they will they will have a little bit of a sinking time, won't they? Oh, yeah, and even my daughter. My daughter has mild retardation. She will tell you straight to your face. If you, if you put down the flag, the Constitution, which she doesn't fathom what it's about, but she knows what we're standing up for is good. Yeah. She'll tell you, disrespect my mom, disrespect anybody that's standing up for this. And I won't be your friend. In other words, she understands the basic principles of balance. She understands that sharks don't go yeah. after sharks. They go after tuna. And if you unlevel the playing field, you've got a problem. So she understands that. 
she understands that much of it, but she can't fathom what the Constitution really is. Yeah. All she knows is the set of laws that her grandfather fought for in Korea, her great uncle has fought for in his whole military life, her cousin, and her uncle have fought for. Yeah. And that's all she gets. So, so she knows yeah. it's good what they fought for. Yeah. She just doesn't understand the whole thing. Yeah. Concept. So she understands that it maintains a balance. She just doesn't understand how it maintains a balance. Exactly. Which is really kind of hard to explain to somebody with that condition. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody. I get to interrupt again. Hey. hey. Hi. Hi. I'm Barbie, by the way. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Barbie. I'm Diane. Hi. But it is 8.29 p.m. Central Standard Time, and you are on a moderated conference call. And I know we haven't had this for a while, folks, so everybody please try and play along. If you want to ask a question, state a comment, voice a concern, please press star six on your keypad, and it will put, it'll have an operator come up and say, please press one to ask your question. And you've got to press one, and that'll put you in the queue so we know you've got something to say. We're hoping that everybody can please keep an eye on that language tonight. We want to keep it as clean as possible. And if you have a question for our special caller, please remember to keep it at three to five minute minimum on the three five would be best for us. We want to have everybody a chance to say hi to Mr. Buggy, okay? And I'm out. Only three ninety nine per minute, adults only. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 Call one nine one nine hundred Dude Ranch. You almost sounded like a recording. Well, yeah, I can do voices. Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here, and welcome to Bundy Ranch guys, Street. Guys, 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 I've got somebody that's trying to engage in the call. Okay, cool. Uh, seven three two one. You're on. Did you have any questions? Uh, did you say six eight three one? Seven three three one. How are you doing tonight? If the last four digits of your phone number are 7331, you've been unmuted. How are you doing tonight? Going once. Going twice. I'm going to have a hard problem with this because I always go to five with my kids. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. If I get to the count of three, you're in big trouble. <laughs> so, yeah, 7331. 7331, you uh, put yourself in the queue to speak. If you'd like to speak, go ahead or forever hold your peace. And try that again. I'm going to disengage you from the call, though. Six, if your last four digits are 7331, go right ahead. Three, two, you are disengaged. Forever hold your gun. I mean, your peace. All right, so we've got another caller that just signed in. 4201, you are engaged to speak. Hi there, 4201. How are you tonight? I'm doing good, Barbie. How are you doing? This is Buckeye One. Hey, Brian. Long time no see. Haven't talked to you for a while. Hey, Buckeye One. I was talking to you earlier. <laughs> yeah, how's everybody doing? Still kicking. Doing good, brother. Doing good. Hey, Thank you for asking. I had a technical question. Um, I pulled up the, the new thing through the conference call and downloaded something, again, I'm not very technical, and it comes across, but I sent you a text, I don't know, I kind of fumbled through that, but is there a way to chime in on that, or is that just that you listen? You know what I mean? Uh, if you're listening to a read broadcast, it's just old versions of the same conference call. The only way to actually get it on the conference call is to actually call the conference call and, and talk to us like you're doing right now. So all that, yeah, all, all I mean, there's a thing that went through the, on Facebook. You hit it, and it's live. Yeah, that's that's my YouTube stream. Unless you're going through the A and B one. Yeah, there's no way to chime in on a live stream. That that's listen only. I got you. I got you. But it did ask me if I wanted to send a text, and I sent a text. You didn't get a text, or did you get a text? Um, as far as, uh, you, what, you sent a text via text message, phone to phone? Whatever that thing is on the, uh, on the Facebook, it, it sent me to my place, my, um, app store, and I got, I signed up for this thing called Speaker. It's not really cool, but I'm listening, it's, 
it had a little message thing. I tapped it, and it said, ask a question. I typed it, and I said, Brian, can you chime in on this? And I sent it, but didn't get a response. Oh, I think I think I know what's going on. Um, Spreaker probably has its own little chat room interface for the live streams. Um, we're not hooked into every possible chat that could possibly be going on about this on the internet. There, there's nobody uh, here looking at any kind of Spreaker chat room or interface. That's just going through Spreaker. Um, nobody's looking at that. Okay. Nobody here, anyway. <laughs> uh, I am on uh, Spreaker as well. You're, you're in the chat and on Spreaker because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not in the chat, but I'm also here on Spreaker, but it's asking me for a, uh, a pro version at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I know that AMB sometimes streams us through Spreaker. I don't know if anybody else is or who else might be streaming through what. Um, I was streaming it on, on YouTube a, a few times, and I stopped doing